to have the, the presence of mind in the heat of the moment to water down the stain, immaculate. And then sit down and play against John Numbers on Battlefield for game one? <laughs> Lyric, it's getting crazy. I, I, okay. Nobody take offense to this. Whenever John Numbers comes up on a stream set of mine of, and I'm casting this man, there's always like a hundred inside jokes that you have to like keep in mind right, of, right. right? So like John Numbers on the ledge, John Numbers on Battlefield. Like if you are unaware of this player, John Numbers, one of the best Wii Fits in the world, a Nintendo World Champion in what, 2015? And my heart to this day. <laughs> <laughs> um, my guy likes to play the ledge. Honestly, Wii Fit has all those tools Ooh. to keep you very frustrated over there. But look at the way that Jackal's handling it. Uh, maybe not so great stuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe not in that exact moment. Maybe <laughs> yeah. like look further was, on this set. He was, set. I yeah, swear. Yeah. <laughs> Commentators would <Right>. never lie. <laughs> <laughs> all right, really good stuff though from John Numbers. A little bit of an early lead, although it was a pretty back and forth first stock. Uh, it continues to be a bit back and forth. John Numbers with a fresh refresh on that deep breathing, and then back at it with a really good mix of projectiles. John Numbers is so good at baiting out an approach with a Sun Salutation charge, which we saw a little bit of there, but Jackal does find a way in and around it. Gets a quick 42% with some good vertical pressure and little combo extension on the platform there. I love the way that Jackal's actually trying to hold stage more, or center stage more than anything, right? He's saying, you know what? I understand that you want to go to the ledge and that's fine, but you're going to need to fight me in order to win, right? So he's essentially kind of throwing out the, the dog treat to, to John Numbers saying, right. you know what, come come get it if you really want to here. But now still a very practice neutral, a very kind of patient neutral from both players. And it's very even so far compared to our last set where Light kind of just was going crazy here. But the laser Ooh. actually throwing back the header and that's getting Jackal actually a lot more mileage than you would right. think. Right. Definitely adds on a lot of damage. And it's pretty low risk anyway, not getting that tech chase. John Numbers with a ambitious roll in on the tech. And that deep breathing back air, I think, taking the stock, 125, and counting down, actually, as those sun salutations pop up. But that back air, once again, immediately equalizes it. It's going to be one stock apiece here on the battlefield. The last stock, too, was just, just I'd say, John Numbers' favorite, but... Jackal has so many interesting ways to just even it up so abruptly, you know? Yeah, I think that's Jackal's play style, right? That explosive, like, hey, I'm going to play this very kind of, like, standard smash neutral with you, and I'm going to rely on my combo game at the end of the day to finish it off. But still, though, John is very tricky with this character, and right. I think we fit as kind of a character in general. She can be very tricky. A lot of her disjoints people aren't really aware of. Her aerials especially, too, are very strong, but here comes Jackal. Speaking of strong aerials, going to be able to find a triple forward air here, and getting the correct jumps over a lot of these Wii Fit projectiles are also very important here. I like the air dodge there to back up, giving John Ooh. a lot of respect. I like the laser as well, where a lot of times you would see Wolves go for that flash there, but still Jackal playing a very patient game. There's the first back air as now John Numbers has to make it back to ledge, charging up the Sun Salutation a little bit, but look at this, Jackal taking his time, trying to line up the back air, but another laser into header is going to keep John in disadvantage, at least for the moment here, trying to find this jump, will not be able to, so instead we're going to be able to find the run up up throw and yeah, there it is. is just up tilt going to be able to take that game one for jackal after going down actually at the beginning of the game yep but as you said jackal loves holding down center stage and kind yes. of asking john numbers to come play come. but it's because wolf and jackal have so many <laughs> tools specifically to interface with fit in a way that's like advantage right yeah. It's advantageous more accurately sure the laser hits the header when it just peeks over the ledge and knocks mm. it back Back air is something you have to worry about constantly if you jump from the ledge. Forward air is something you have to worry about if you do regular get up from the ledge. And Wolf is fast enough to cover most of those things. And then finally, you try to mix it up by landing on the platform. But guess what? Wolf up tilt, perfect percent to take that first game. We're going into a smaller battlefield for the next one but I think we'll see a similar game plan from both players. I was about to say, uh, the top platform didn't really come into play there quite literally at all, so maybe just a comfort Ooh. pick for John going for the <laughs> going for the down air from Jackal, and now we can see kind of the signs of life coming to life here, essentially, right? A lot of these aerials trying to get started here for Jackal, but look at John now playing a little bit more aggressive, kind of throwing out the buttons a little bit more with deep breathing. You do get a little bit Ooh. stronger, but still forward air back here from Jackal going to cement a very early lead in this game number two. Yeah, she should have uh, held more breath, maybe would have weighed <laughs> her down a little bit, but fortunately going down early. John Numbers, though, with the deep breathing on that fresh stock is always something you have to worry about. Oh, no. uh, it looks like Jackal is not worried at oh, no. all, though. 
Nah, he's wildin'. <laughs> in Dry State, we say he's he's got a bucket right now. He's got a bucket. <laughs> when the shine comes out, it's a problem. Yeah, that's no. A... That, that's how you know, right? I mean, Jackal's very lined up, but still, John gonna be able to find a backer out of shield, but still, Jackal is so well placed with a lot of these nares, and it's a thing with a lot of spacey players, specifically the Fox and the Wolf players, right? Using that nair as an anti air, but also using it as a way to just stop your opponent going to shield through the sun salutation, trying to find the backer, but still, John will be able to find the F tilt. Jackal on the ledge right now and that back air very untechable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deep reading back air would have killed the nine different ways. <laughs> yeah, it's true. 300 <laughs> angles. Hard to deal with right there, but Jackal's gonna try and take this stock and run away with a little bit of a lead here, but John Numbers already cooking up something devious with the deep breathing. A lot of good projectiles, but the back air finds the mark too. Not able to land, and these are good trades right now for Jackal. Definitely, you know, don't mind taking these yeah, little absolutely. hits. From I, I have to say, I think John is playing really well around the Jackal back air. I think a lot of the times players may just kind of get Ooh. thrown up and kind of away here, but we can see John coming back to life here. The header is going to hit Jackal back off stage. John is going to have advantage here on the ledge, trying to line up where Jackal is going to go, but that F tilt is going to come out before John can move here. But look at John being so careful on the ledge. I had a feeling that Jackal was going to try and go for the grass. Here, but there's the Nair. Good air dodge through the laser, and now John, great header to make it back onto stage here. Both <laughs> players very high percent, but we fit going to get a little bit more dangerous with the down air. Not going to be able to hit though. But look at this, the wow. rolls a plenty. It will be Jackal just firing off that dash attack to take the stop. All right, John numbers though, right back to it. Deep breathing, full charge. That sun salutation sets up for the edge guard here. Header from downtown, not gonna find it, but the sun salutation will catch most of the options there. Looking for the forward air, looks like. I know you kind of have to worry about the reflector coming back from Jackal, but now with no deep breathing, it's going to be hard. You might have to take a minute to kind of reassess the situation a little bit, but Jackal's not letting it happen, keeping that damage going. And the forward air into the down air almost. Oh. I love the way that Jackal is still throwing on the aggression, even at 150. Good recovery from John, though, going high above the down smash here. And now it's all John. How do you get this game back when Jackal has stacked on 113% and you have not gotten this stock off yet? This game was toe-to-toe, -to -toe and now John is starting to fall a little bit more behind. Can't really find a proper approach here. Can't get a little bit more comfortable. Jackal just weaving out and in with a lot of these rolls, just trying to find that one aerial that will cement him in this set 2-0 so far, but John just needs to find something. Can't get the grab, can't get much. No, it, you can see John Numbers' game plan here. A lot of conditioning for shield with the headers and the sun salutations, and then trying to get these grabs, but the problem is Jackal does not care. He's spot dodging or just throwing out a move, and all of those moves are hitting John Numbers. Finally, the sun salutation finds the target. 167 after that down special, still a very tall order. If you know anything about Wii Fit Trainer, and especially John Numbers, you can't get too comfortable here. John has some ways, pulling some tricks out of the hat here, but Jackal playing it very well, not going for anything too crazy after the initial sun salutation pull, but instead waiting for John to roll and then punishing accordingly with that dash attack. Jackal going up in loser semi so far 2-0, potentially one game to go. What does John need to do to readjust? I think John Numbers had a really good game plan. As I mentioned, kind of throwing out these moves that condition shield and then sneaking in the grabs, following up accordingly. Unfortunately, it just turned into Jackal not having any fear. Yeah. But John was stuck in a spot where you can't really play defensive either because you're at such a deficit. So I think with this fresh game, you can kind of change the pace pretty drastically. Go back to the ledge and try and slow it down, but try and get a little bit of a lead that you can work with and maybe try and be a little more reactive and bait out some approaches from Jackal. It's gonna so be tough though. So far so good from Jackal here, coming out, trying to find a little bit more damage here, but the laser placements from Jackal, we said this in the beginning of game number two, uh, very placed extremely well. So now it's all it, it's all John, right? How do you find a way back into this? I think we wanna use a little bit more of these platforms to mess up the movement here, but still every time Jackal finds an opening, it is so explosive here, but I like the way that John is holding shield on the ledge really well. Yep. Ooh. Oh my goodness. All right. I was going to say, that's the thing. Like, I talked about all those good options that Wolf has at the ledge. Uh, a lot of them do, in fact, lose to shield. So John Numbers with some pretty stoic shield patience right there, waiting and then responding spectacularly with that follow-up, the deep breathing aerial, easily taking that stock. It's going to be hard, though, because Jackal, when, you know, he's got that fresh stock to work with, definitely can play with a bit of a, like, renewed confidence. 
we're kind of seeing right now. Ooh. Yeah, no, a, that that's the thing with like a lot of Wii Fit's damage output sometimes. It's just kind of like crunchy, yeah. right? Like definitely doesn't feel good too, especially when you're getting hit by header and a, and a tilt as well. And honestly, John has done an amazing job of holding this lead really well. Now recognizing, you know what? I'm in the lead. I don't technically need to approach here. And that's kind of what Jackal has been thriving on this entire time, kind of going for toe for toe with the aggression. And now we are on the ledge here. Jackal at 84% on the second stock. And John now just going to reset neutral once again. The dash attack isn't punished from John, but it will be Jackal finding a dash attack of his own on the other side. Yeah, good stuff, but it's going to be kind of a rough spot to be in, like 115, especially after there. A lot of moves from WeFit are threatening your stock here. A very ambitious jump in there from Jackal, but these aerial combos are so huge. A great way to rack up damage for Jackal, and that was so crazy. Good pickup from John Numbers, so. though. <laughs> You know what's kind of sad is that that didn't come out as like a strong hit, so yeah. it just looks like a weak backer that took that stock. But um, once again, like you said, great stuff from John. Great adjustment so far, but here we go. Finding the falling up air and finding a couple of tilts to go as well. Now Jackal going to be stuck on the ledge, at least for the moment, till he is able to find that nair coming up from ledge here. Going for the down air, John, but not going to be able to wow. find Jackal there. But look at this. Still, Jackal needs to get back to stage and stop losing in a lot of these trades. Oh, There's no. the ground. The F tilt not going to be enough, but now John going to be able to respond beautifully with that down air, and John will stay alive in this set. Jackal still, I mean, set point two one, but that's a much better game from John Numbers than we've seen. Definitely, definitely, and I think it came down to what we talked about going into the game. John Numbers got the lead, played with it exquisitely, and Jackal kind of fell for most of the tricks. I mean, right there, a little overextension cost that stock. Even right here, there's so many different things that Jackal has to guess right on, right? That header would cover an immediate jump very effectively. And then once that option's cut off, Jackal has to go low. John is fast enough to run over there and cover that with a down air, all because of one small mistake from Jackal. That's kind of the story of the set so far. See how this goes? Back on Battlefield for game number four. Yeah, I was about to mention, kind of going back on Battlefield. So Jackal's going back to his original game plan of, hey, let me hold center, and uh, maybe you'll come approach me. But if you don't, that's kind of your problem, right? So now John going to be able to find one aerial in, but Jackal actually retreating to the top platform and then waiting for John to come back down to start his aerial string here. But once again, playing so patient is Jackal Ooh. here. Beautiful laser position to hit the header back, but the getup attack is not going to be punished by the F smash here. John's still stuck on the ledge, at least for the moment here, but reverse Ooh. Nair into the F-Tilt. Going to keep Jackal alive as of right now, trying to read where John is going to go, how he gets up from the ledge. Jackal hasn't been able to punish that too much just yet, but still, we're going coast to coast. John number's still stuck on the ledge. Right, and even if John does find a way back off of the ledge, Jackal is fine going back to the simple plan of holding center stage that we saw earlier in the game as well. It's working out great. Up air, really good to follow up. Try and punish that landing with the forward air as well. And there is a big change of pace. Some nice hot and cold gameplay, right? Usually saying, hey, I'm going to wait for you to get off the ledge and punish. This time, no, I'm coming at you with the F-Tilt. I'm coming at you with the dash attack. Really good stuff. Looking for the stock right there. Not going to give it up. Oh. Yeah, no, the back air, the deep breathing back air coming off the, the platform there. It's not going to do enough to really make a difference right now. But it's definitely showing that John still wants this as right. much as possible. Still though, I mean, we're getting back into the neutral here, finds the Nair at a shield, and that's actually just gonna be enough. You can see John in the camera being like, wait, hold on, that KO'd? <laughs> it's kind of a little strong here. I think Jackal has been getting more and more disciplined in his edge guards over the course of this set. Um, and I think when it comes to a player like John Numbers, you have to stay nothing but disciplined, right? You so can't just kind of like throw yourself into the mix. You kind of have to play Ooh. very safe. The up special from Wolf, not going to clip John, but still, I mean, Jackal with three stocks left to John's too. Yeah, not really able to attack on a whole lot of damage here, and John also will be able to heal it if Jackal is not decisive enough to make something happen. But it's going to be kind of hard for John Numbers to get in. Like, the laser does so much against a lot of the projectiles, and at some point, like, you're not fast enough as we fit to get around some of the other options that Wolf has, but sometimes you can just throw out a neutral special, and that'll do it too. Yeah. Still, though, back into this very meticulous neutral between both players here. Jackal still at three stocks. Uh, the parry's now coming on to point two. Gets the double hit of the laser, but it will be the back foot of Wee Fit Trainer to send Jackal up into that blast zone. Two stocks to two here. We'll see if Jackal's going to just remain kind of calm and confident here. And we'll see what John can do to kind of mix up this, you know, very stoic Jackal. Yeah, it's going to be kind of hard. Like I said, the laser cuts off so many things. 
Jackal just holding down center stage. You're holding down that ledge right now. That was a really good anti-air, though, from John. Yeah, no, honestly, that was a very... Now we're starting to see it, too. Honestly, uh, that was something that we've been missing from John this entire time. I feel like Jackal has been getting free nares on the come down every single time, and John hasn't really been stopping it like that one. But still, finding the up tilts has actually put John in the percentage lead, at least for the moment here. But now Jackal actually making the adjustment on the fly, now actually waiting to come down, jumping and trying to punish there. Deep breathing, though, is going to be online, at least for the moment. But there's the back air, and there's the stock. Jackal won. One stock to go to cement himself into losers finals. Yeah, really good mix up there. Knowing John wants to be proactive, make something happen with that deep breathing, and then punishing the approach. Very smart stuff from Jackal to mix up that usual game plan we saw of holding down center and playing reactive. Going back to it though right now, looking for something big with that dash tag, maybe get something started, but John's slowing it down a little bit, retreating to the platform, but still Jackal finds a grab and keeps that pressure up with those aerials. Absolutely. Looking for the down smash, not going to be able to find it, so instead, just going to nair over header here. That second header is going to hit, though. John trying to let him for a back air, but Jackal being so patient. These up tilts, though, looking so much better. Coming out from John, he needs to find a decisive way to get the stock, but Jackal landing nair into the forward tilt here, going to still cement him very solidly in this game. There's the second laser connecting, and now John numbers on the ropes right now. Will be able to get the Jump call out those, we're going to last stock. We saw this a little bit before. John Numbers with a little bit of deep breathing and 100% and a little bit of rage could definitely get something going. But look at Jackal, the way that he's so positioned so safely on this ledge, does definitely does not want to put himself into disadvantage. But there's the backup from John, oh. going to actually wolf flash high. I love that from Jackal, as he will position to find the back air and cement himself into losers finals. What a great game number four. It was wonderful, because like you said, if anyone could make it happen, John Numbers, and if anyone knew <laughs> yeah, that that true. could happen, it was a Jackal playing so, so stoic, even in the face of, uh, you know, deep breathing, full charge, neutral, special Wii Fit, in the face of the Nintendo World Champion of That's My true. Heart and many others. <laughs> My Heart is crazy. Still made it happen, <laughs> moving on to Losers Finals against Zamba, and a wonderful, wonderful set. Top four is just so spectacular. I'm already loving what we're seeing, and we're only halfway through. Yeah. My math checks out. Uh, losers finals. Don't check my grand. math. Don't. <laughs> my fault. My fault. Oh my you're god! You're gonna embarrass me. <laughs> Don't you have the college degree in no, math? No, no. <laughs>